Oh, I'll, I'll always what say you gotta look at like start. both sides of the argument, right? So like Sheik's are about to be like, oh, Fox just destroys me and I can't do anything. So, but you know, it's not like on that level either. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's almost, you almost have to be like the, you have to have the shitty opinion to like try and have people form a more rational one. Yeah. <laughs> like it's not that bad. So I have to tell you it's something so ridiculous that you'll reassess. <laughs> I think that uh, I have some insight into this specific matchup because I have actually played S2J with Falcon in a tournament before. <laughs> and you're uh, a pretty decent Falcon as well. It's mediocre, but uh, something I noticed, especially about Falcon Jittos in tournament. <laughs> that edge guard was amazing, sorry. I just... It was, it was fire. <laughs> But like he should be able to get this. Yeah, ba basically Falcon just is so easy to combo himself with. It's almost like you have more room to choke, even though you're like playing this good player and you're like, oh no. It's like his DI is is more irrelevant since it's mostly grabs. Yeah, I yeah. see exactly what you're getting at. It's it's like all that years of defensive play, etc. It's like half of it is going to be gone because it's still Falcon comboing Falcon, and then you can get those zero to deaths, et cetera. And if you zero to death somebody, it really doesn't matter who they are. If you can get out of that mentality of just like, I feel that way. I was feeling that way actually in playing against Falcon yesterday. I, I, I went down at least in one game pretty hard. And I was like, man, at this point, like it's really, if I just grab them three times, I can be three stocks and it doesn't really matter what the score is right now. Um, right. And as long as Brando's thinking on that page, I think that the meta in a Falcon Ditto is simple enough that you could get away with an upset even if you're the less skilled player. That's a good thing to point out that I don't think is like talked about as much as like that dynamic of it, of like how, what matchups are more upsettable and like for what reasons besides just it being a poor matchup. Because this is clearly not a poor matchup for Falcon. It's a ditto. Yeah, but it is. it's, yeah, there is like, you, oh my gosh, you, oh. you nullify some of the things that are the most nuanced in the game. It's yeah. like they, you simplify them in those like, nuances when you like add up everything in melee often those nuances are what make the difference in a set um, yeah so cutting then, down on those would just even the playing field you're saying but johnny's still kind of fucking them up yeah there is one <laughs> thing that rings true in every matchup and it's this this thing you probably noticed it playing against people whenever you're uh, significantly better than someone if you get to like a hundred percent and they don't kill you, you just become untouchable. I can't you. even really put my finger on why that happens, but it's consistent across the board. With I, like yeah. Everyone. Yeah. I agree. A hundred percent. And I feel like also a part of it is like even just your own personal mentality. Cause I feel like it happened to me yesterday on both sides where even it was literally, I had a double jeopardy against the same player and in winners, I was so focused on winning. And then by the time I got to like, I was so focused on winning that that's when I did the, like I was down a lot and I got the three zero to deaths in cause I was playing in that mentality, but it's somebody realistically who a very similar skill level to. So it could go either way. But in that right. moment I was feeling like that much better. And I got to that point and I think they were feeling it too. And it exactly, I, they could not touch me anymore at that hundred percent. Fast forward to the loser set. I was feeling like I was only focused on losing. It almost got to that point as well. And then I felt like I was on the other end of it. I couldn't touch them at certain points. And then I just got ran over for a game or two, et cetera, like whatever. Um, so e even if it's not always as true on, you can almost trick yourself. Even if you are a lot better or even if you are a lot worse, sometimes you can trick yourself into that mindset too. I mean, and the trick is basically to think that it's like you have to believe that you not only deserve to win and are better, but also not get tilted if it doesn't start happening immediately. And then after the fact, you have to recognize that you weren't better. Exactly. You, you have to else. play like an asshole and think like an asshole during the set. But then you have to be realistic after. Otherwise, you just won't get better half the time. Yeah. I, I don't think a lot of people are good at using anger as a motivator. Some people are, but I think a lot of people are not good at it. And I think it's that protagonist mentality, like at least playing out at all times is not super beneficial for a lot of people. Yeah, you usually it results in just disaster, like mental disaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that uh, kind of landing into instant shield on the getup attack, Brando. 
I like oh. when he was attacking with the knees from the platform, but running at Johnny across the stage with the knee like right there, I think will get you reversal like we just saw more often. But coming from the platform oh. seemed to be working a lot better. Dude, you're not drop zoning. Johnny. It's a disaster. Okay, he did good SDI to not get... He would have absolutely died there, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, definitely necessary. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, you know, okay, that's... Uh, I'm, I'm assuming now that S2J is gonna start pulling away with the lead. He's already getting harder to hit, and if you're SDing like that, I mean, you gotta play on point if you're gonna beat someone seated above you. Yeah. But, it could be a, yeah, I could finish it out here. Johnny has a chance to come back, but this should be an edge guard. The windmill's on the wrong way, unfortunately, and Johnny was able to find it back to stage. Okay, it's, oh, okay, yeah, no, this is a disaster, actually. So, while I, I don't have to do it as Falcon as much, I honestly have a lot tougher time covering Falcon's drift than uh, I think a lot of people would think that people should have, or at least, I don't know. Fal covering Falcon's drift can be a lot harder than people realize. If you're Jeez. not, like, trying to reach him at the apex of his upbeat to where he kind of stalls before falling down again, it can be really tricky to cover it. Yeah, right, I think Brandon taking the stock and uh taking himself